If you are out of work because of COVID-19, it's now time to reapply for the second month of benefits. Canadians can get up to $500 per week through the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, but they do have to confirm their eligibility every four weeks. 7.3 million Canadians have received money for, from the fund so far. Another 1.7 million are being helped by the federal wage subsidy program. And business editor Richard Southern joins us now from his home office. And Richard, you know, we just talked about how many uh, millions of Canadians out of work. And it's been a tough time for many businesses, including airlines. Yeah, I mean, the airlines have found themselves, I guess, right at the center of the storm. You know, we've talked about how Air Canada and WestJet have laid off pretty much all their workers. Today, we got to look at one of the balance sheets. And it was not pretty. Air Canada said it lost just over $1 billion in the first quarter. That's a billion dollars in three months, Janela. Wow. Uh, Canada's largest airline said the pandemic, it thinks, will last three years. It calls it wow. the darkest period ever for commercial aviation. Air Canada says, as well, 79 of its planes that are grounded now will never fly again. It's going to get rid of 79 planes, replacing only half of them with new ones as it looks to reduce the size of its fleet. It's looking to cut a billion dollars through uh, those uh, airplanes as well as through voluntary buyouts. It says it's burning through 20 million in cash every single day. Janela Air Canada today also announced that all passengers will have to get their temperature taken before they can board any flights. And of course, you have to wear a mask as well. So the airlines are really struggling with this as we continue with the pandemic. Wow. And they're not the only ones. Some legacy clothing brands also facing difficult times. Reedman's in deep financial trouble, it would appear. Uh, this, you know, legendary Canadian apparel retailer, it says it needs to find new sources of funding quicker. It's done. Uh, it's urgently looking for uh, fresh money after its existing uh, loans were terminated. It says if it can't find uh, money soon, it won't be able to continue as a going concern. Reedman's was already in a weakened state before the virus, posting some pretty big quarterly losses. The stock's down more than 70%. This year, it fell to just 16 pennies on Bay Street today. And stateside clothing retailer J. Crew filing for bankruptcy. Wow. Perhaps the most high-profile casualty in retail so far. Uh, the company known for its preppy clothing said the red ink on the books totaled $1.6 billion. J. Crew opened its first store in New York City in 1989. But it may be done as, of course, more people just, you know, buying they're closed now online, and it's tough going for these uh, these companies, Janela. Yeah, I can't imagine. Okay, so lots of people have lost their jobs, but many are also just getting to work from home, as you are as well. And it's, you know, question as well is, will this trend continue after COVID-19? A lot of people are happy with it. There's a new dark maru blue poll out today, finding 24% of Canadians are working from home. Most are liking it. But they asked, hey, what would you like to improve about your home office and 52 percent said i need a better seat i don't have the proper office chair janelle that's what they want 48 percent looking for a better desk 34 percent a better monitor 23 percent need a better internet connection and i love the six percent they said they need some art for the walls those zoom calls they're not looking so pretty janella <laughs> and uh, as far as what we miss about the office 63 percent say they just miss the change of scenery getting out to work 58 percent miss Chatting with the co-workers, 20% yeah. actually miss now getting dressed to go out. We were loving the track pants and shorts at first. Now maybe we're missing it. And 23% Janela say they miss eating out during the business day, not getting those uh, lunches in as much as they used to. Hey, Janela, you and I are back just a little bit after 6.30. Uh, there's a new way concert goers are taking in concerts amid the pandemic. We're going to talk about that and some more fun stories just after 6.30. Okay, Richard, we'll see you then. Thanks so much. Thanks.